Hey everyone, in the news this week, some fossil fuel protesters decided to throw tomato soup onto Van Gogh's sunflowers at the National Gallery. I only imagine that they expect the gallery to somehow replace all the oil paintings with watercolours or the like, although the gallery must regret letting him in, in Heinz's sight. Get it? Robbie Coltrane passed away at the age of 72. I've not got a joke about that, but I hear that Frank Carson does, and it's a cracker. John Cleese, he's going to be hosting a program on GB News, focusing on things like cancel culture and the like. Although, as John would presumably be the first to say, don't mention the culture war. Prince Andrew is apparently going to be looking after the Queen's corgis now that she's passed. Although that does make sense, given that Prince Andrew does have a lot of experience in grooming. If you wanted to re-watch the Queen's funeral, by the way, the BBC are apparently going to be showing the highlights on a program called Madge of the Day. And all change at number 10, or should I say number 11, after the Chancellor was sacked in favour of Jeremy Hunt with an H. I know someone who was once sacked five weeks into a job after a bunch of money went missing, and to be honest, Quasi should just be lucky he doesn't have the police knocking on his door. So anyway, with Jeremy in the job, I guess it'll be a few months of boring nothingness as far as the government goes, assuming that Liz Truss stays in her role as Prime Minister. The BBC does seem to think there's going to be an election, but why would the government possibly call one? It's 50-50 at best whether there's going to be a change of party leadership, although it's not like there's a unity candidate waiting in the wings, like when Michael Howard deposed Ian Duncan Smith. As for Quasi, though, a lot of it was his own fault. He did himself out of a job, really. You know, you don't need a Chancellor if there's no money left to manage. And in a little bit of personal news, I have met Diane Warwick in the street this week and asked her for an autograph, but she just walked on by. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.